You're watching the news summary on Jio.tv. I'm Sharpana Javeri. The Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan have claimed responsibility of the suicide attack on SSP Malir Rao Anwar's convoy on Malir Halt in Karachi. SSP Rao Anwar escaped death while four others, including two policemen, were killed and at least 14 were injured. A suicide bomber targeted the SSP's convoy as it made its way through a busy crossing at Malir Halt when he crashed his explosive-laden motorcycle into Anwar's armoured personnel carrier. Former DG ISI Ahmed Shuja Pasha admitted to having met Mansoor Ijaz in a London hotel on October 22, 2011 after consultation with the top military leadership. Pasha says he wanted to know more about the author of the Financial Times article. The former spy master adds that the meeting lasted four hours and was arranged in London as Ajaz agreed to share details outside of Pakistan and the US. The former DGISI said this while recording his statement before the Memo Commission for the first time on Thursday. Chief Justice Iftikhar Mohammad Chaudhry has summoned Inspector General Frontier Corps Balochistan over the mutilated bodies issue as the court observed that the Frontier Constabulary is being accused in the matter. The Chief Justice added that the Attorney General's presence is also necessary, further adding that if the ministers involved in kidnapping for ransom were arrested by this evening, everything will be fine. A curfew has indefinitely been imposed in Gilgit as the situation remained tense after people held violent protests in the region. All communication systems have been jammed in the region for two days.